and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and after making this really cute vinyl zipper pouch, I had the idea to make a baby one to house all of my fun little supplies. This is perfect to stick just right inside the mama pouch and then that way you can have two, one for your bigger supplies and then one to keep all your tiny supplies ready. So if you're interested in making this with me, let's get started. Supplies for this project are gonna be really easy. You're going to need some fabric for your backing. I'm gonna also be using this kind of medium to heavyweight interfacing for my middle layer. And then you'll need some fabric for the front. And these are all gonna be cut at five and a half inches square. You're also gonna need a piece of clear vinyl. Now this is just like a medium weight vinyl. I'm sorry I don't have the exact gauge because it's just been in my stash for a while. But this is gonna be cut at five and a half inches wide by three and three quarters inches tall. You'll also need two of these little pieces of these are going to kind of go on the vinyl and the zipper here So these are going to be cut at two and a half inches by five and a half inches And you'll need two of those and then you'll also need some binding and that is going to be cut at two and a quarter inches wide And you just need it to be about 26 inches long you will also need a zipper. My zipper is just a regular polyester zipper. It's one inch wide and mine is a little bit longer than I need here. Um, you're gonna want probably about a nine, eight or nine inch zipper for this project. I like to always have my zippers be longer than they need to be and this is just the one that matches my fabric. So I'm gonna use that one. And then you'll need some basic sewing supplies. I think that's pretty much it. As always, the exact cutting instructions for everything in this project, as well as the fabrics I used, will be listed in the description box below this video. So make sure to click the show more link there. I will also have a written PDF pattern available as well, and that link will be below the video um, as well. So I think that's everything we need. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by preparing our vinyl pocket and our zipper, cause that's just kind of the hardest part. So I've just taken one of my little two and a half by five and a half inch pieces here, and I folded in the long edges by one quarter of an inch and pressed, and then I folded it in half one more time and pressed again, and then that way I have this nice finished edge piece here. I'm going to take my vinyl and just slide it right in between there and just kind of get it right up against this folded edge and then I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew right along this top edge just to secure it and just make sure that you're getting both sides of your fabric when you do that. Now there's no real trick to sewing with vinyl other than to just go slow. I do not have a special needle on my machine but if you do have a hard time with it you can always try like a denim needle or something that's a little bit stronger um, and then this can just be kind of slippery so just go slow and hang on to it. And we're just going to do a regular straight stitch all the way down. And there we go. So here's our piece, and I always just double check to make sure that I got it on both sides. And then I just figure out which side looks better, and that's gonna be my side that faces up. So for right now, we're gonna just set that aside, and we're gonna take our zipper and our other piece. And for our other piece, I've actually just folded it in half, wrong sides together, and pressed it. I didn't fold in these top edges or anything like on the other one. And I'm actually just gonna take that and find a nice straight spot on my zipper here and lay that on there. Now you can pin this if you'd like. We're just gonna take this over to our sewing machine and just sew right along this edge to secure this to our zipper. And don't worry about where your stop and starts on your zipper are right now. That's why I like to have my zipper a little bit longer than I need. That way later I can trim it up and everything will be nice and straight. So here we have our top piece attached to our zipper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my vinyl and like I said, just make sure that the pretty side is facing up. And I'm just going to line it right up with these edges here. And like I said, if you would like, you can pin that in place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same thing and top stitch this piece to our zipper. All right, so here is our finished zipper piece and now we're going to trim this off. So we need to make sure that we take our zipper pull and just pull that out. And by the way, I apologize if I forgot to mention, but you want your zipper right side up during this whole process. Hopefully that was obvious, but you want your zipper pull on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get that out of the way so that I can trim off these edges here. And I'm just going to put my ruler here and just kind of line it up and then just trim off this excess zipper here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we can set this zipper out of our way. And now our front of our pocket is ready to go. 
I also wanted to mention really quickly to just be careful you don't pull your zipper head too far to one side or the other or you'll accidentally pull it off. And in the event that you do accidentally pull your zipper head off, I don't want you to panic. It is kind of fussy to get back on, but you can do it. So you'll want to start from this end where it came apart or where you would zip it open, I guess. Okay, so now you have two separate pieces here and you just want to kind of make sure that you remember which way your zipper was going because that's the same way you're going to want to put the um, zipper pull back on. So we're going to put it on from this side since it pulled shut this way. So you're just going to take your little zipper head and just make sure it's right side up. So you're going to want to put the teeth into one of the sides just like normal and you just want to push it in until it stops and then kind of set it there. And then you're going to take your other side and push it in to the other side of your zipper again until it stops. And then this is kind of finicky, but you're just going to have to kind of wiggle it around to get it on. I'm going to kind of try and hold both sides with my fingers here and then just push my zipper on. There we go. See, so now we've got that on and you can pull your zipper back on. So it's not the end of the world if you accidentally pull off your zipper head here. Uh, just take some time and then just get it back on and then we can continue on with our project. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside and now we're going to put our main part of our pouch together. So we're gonna take our backing fabric and place that right side down. Then we're gonna take our interfacing or batting or you could use fusible fleece and just place that right on top of there. Make sure everything's nice and lined up. And then we're gonna take our lining fabric and do the same thing and just line up all those edges and just make sure it's five and a half inches square all the way around. So now we kind of have this sandwich going on. And then we're gonna take the pocket that we just created and just place that on top. And I'm just gonna line up my raw edges of my fabric up here with the raw edge of my pouch. Just put a little clip there to hold it into place. And then if you have some leftover vinyl kind of sticking down past your five and a half inch mark down here, just trim that off. I wanted to give you enough vinyl, and if you use a little bit of a wider or skinnier zipper than what I had, you would still have enough vinyl. So just make sure you get that on there, line everything up with these three sides, and then you can trim off whatever excess vinyl you have down here at the bottom. So now we're gonna take this over to our machine and add our binding. And for our binding, I have just cut a piece of fabric that is two and a quarter inches wide by 26 inches long. And since I was using some scraps for my stash, I actually had to cut two strips, which you may also have to do. I just sewed them together end to end and then pressed that seam open like that. And then I took everything to my ironing board and pressed it in half wrong sides together. And then we have this nice little piece of binding and we're ready to add it to our project. So I've added some wonder clips just to hold everything in place and I'm gonna start with my binding on my fabric side because it's just gonna be easier to deal with the two pieces coming together with the fabric than it will be on top of this slippery vinyl. So I'm gonna remove this clip and we're just gonna start down here at this corner. I'm gonna take my binding piece that is folded. The raw edges are going to be lined up with the raw edges of my little pouch here and I'm just gonna kinda of leave this little tail hanging and then I'm gonna go ahead and come clear down to this corner Corner, and we're just going to start by attaching it down here about an inch away from our corner. We want to just go ahead and leave a tail up here to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and just start sewing till we get about one quarter of an inch away from our edge here. And then I'm going to lift my presser foot, turn it to about a 45 degree angle and just back stitch, cut my thread and pull it out. Now we're going to go ahead, this is how I do all of my binding, so this probably will look familiar to you, but I'm going to place my finger here and pull my binding strip straight up. Fold it up so that you have kind of this diagonal line here, and then just place a finger there again. Now you've got these raw edges lined up over here on the right side, and then we're going to go ahead and just fold this straight down towards you. And then you should have this kind of little triangle flap here. Now we're gonna go ahead and keep sewing and I'm gonna do that on all four corners and I'm just gonna go slow when I hit the vinyl down here just so nothing slips around. So here's our pouch right now and what it looks like and I just have this one tail on this side and then the, my longer tail on this side. So all I want to do is take this longer tail and place it nice and flat across here and just make sure that it overlaps this other strip by one quarter of an inch. Just mark that with my finger but you can also um, measure it if you like. And then we're just going to trim that off very carefully. 
And now we've got these two little tails. We're going to go ahead and place them together. Now with this small of a package, I like to kind of fold it in half. So we're just going to place those so they line up together. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half and I'll probably stick a clip on there just to help myself out a little bit here. Okay, and then we can open these up so that they're lined up with each other. And this is just gonna be kind of fussy because we have just such a small little notions pouch here. But you're gonna to wanna to line up these raw edges, take them over to the sewing machine, and then sew them together using a quarter of an inch seam, and then press those open, and then we can finish adding our binding. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just press this seam open, fold it in half, and then I can go ahead and keep stitching right along here. All right, so here is our pouch and we've got it sewn all the way around. Now we just need to flip it over and sew it onto the back side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of flip it all the way around. And then again, I'm gonna start on my side with the fabric just because that way, that'll be where all my kind of overlapping stitches are happening. I'm just gonna fold it nice and tight around the edge. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just stitch right along this edge and I'll show what we do when we get to this corner. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this corner straight down and then just pull this one up so that you have a cute little mitered corner right there. And I'm gonna take one stitch into this, lift up my presser foot, turn it, pull my binding out, and keep going. And here is our finished package. As you can see, we've got a cute little zipper here and then you can load it with all kinds of fun goodies. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, I put my binding on the front first and then attached it on the back. So you can kind of see these stitches around the back, but you can also see them on the front here. If you don't like that, you can absolutely do it the opposite direction. Sew it on the back side first, then flip it around to the front and do that edge here so you don't have these stitches. But really, it's just a matter of personal preference. Either way, we are done with our super cute little clear vinyl notions pouch now you just need to fill it up with some goodies and you're good to go all right everyone that was our little mini notions pouch I hope you enjoyed it if you don't want to use the vinyl you can of course just use regular fabric and still have a super cute pouch to have all of your tiny supplies stored nice and neat in thank you so much for joining me today if you like this video please thumbs up and subscribe that way I know to keep making fun tutorials for you hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time So you're gonna to wanna to put the, <laughs> this is hard to do on video. So I've added a few wonder clips just to hold everything in place. And I'm gonna start up here on my fabric piece because it's gonna be easier to deal with. Whoa, what's happening with my camera? All right, and here's our finished package with an airplane. Yeah. Hmm. Stitches, but really it's just a matter of personal preference preference. So what else am I going to say? Hang on. Do you, why do you... Shh, shh, shh.